All right, y'all. I've not done much filming at all. I'm literally just piecing this together. There's a manual online. Um, I found one for free. If you wanna, if you want help finding it, just let me know. I'll figure out where I found it. But I've literally got uh, the piston or the uh, connecting rod crankshaft was already installed. That needs to be pressed into the unit. Then the transmission uh, gear set. Then the halves go together. Over here I've got the flywheel and the stator assembled. The uh, output, that that's, doesn't really need to be installed yet, but. Um, over here we've got, of course, the Kickstarter, the starter cam, whatnot. Um, clutch, I'm literally just starting to, to install the clutch. Got oil pump, primary drive gear, um, whatever you call it. Um, Stator, reluctor, whatever you call it. Of course, we've got our uh, chain guides, our cam chain, and, excuse me, down here we've got our, um, gear shift cam. So, telling you what, man, this is like super, like this is like the most complex puzzle I've ever put together in my life. Um, I've been sorting through, so far I've got, um, these are like, I'm pretty sure these are like random parts. Um, this is parts for this motorcycle, but are duplicates. So, even, I've even got, th I've got three shift drums. So, that's the new piston. These are old gaskets, of course. We're gonna be swapping the innards out of this to here. Um, because we're looking for this. I'm so thankful they included this because this is broken. Um, I've got all kinds of springs here. I'm not sure, I think they're all for that. I have no idea. I guess they're for the, that no idea. The jug. And then these are all localized parts that will be probably used-ish. These are uh, crankcase bolts. The chrome ones I'll probably use, but the black ones are for the uh, case. They're a five millimeter, millimeter Allen. Of course, I'll be using actually a lot of these to do this, so I, I'm premature in putting them sort of away. Um, this is the wrist pin for the old piston, I'm assuming. Um, these are, these, these ones here tend to be internal engine bolts. It's a little eight millimeter uh, style. This I'm gonna bring, actually bring out here because it's more of a thing there. So I'm telling you, once I get all this together, I got myself a parts list here of what's actually missing. Um, and then once I get everything mocked up, parts ordered, I will do a full um, full build. Because um, there's a guy that has a bottom end, XR250 bottom end, one video three years ago, or no, four years ago. And I'm afraid something must have happened to the fella. He was seemed like he was rocking and rolling and uh, just um, stop making videos so ho hopefully the guy's okay but anyway as you can see that damn seat i wish this is a completely in fact if anybody needs a cr in fact i'm gonna sell this actually exactly what i'll do i'll sell this on ebay and then get hopefully with that sale end up with a xr seat the header pipe for the exhaust i found on ebay for 100 bucks or so um, probably have to do that and then just fashion my own muffler. The drive chain should be pretty handy. And then I'm hoping somebody can help me repair this wheel. Cause I don't want to have to replace the whole thing, of course. So probably warm it up. Nah, I don't know. 
I was gonna say pound it into place, but maybe though, get it nice and warm, um, preferably ambient warm. Uh, I don't know. Nah, you can't pound something like that. That hits something really hard, so the whole wheel needs to come off probably. Of course, duh, because I have that thing too. And but also I've noticed that the rear uh, bearings and the rear brakes here seem to be sort of uh, not hung up, but so that that whole unit needs to be gone through if I want to have this bike actually ready to rock. So engine crank. Um, Carburetor, I'll figure that out when I get to it. Exhaust, rear wheel, drive chain, of course, brakes and what have you. The front the front end is awesome, besides some standard oil leak from the uh, shocks, from the front forks. Um, this looks aftermarket, which is kind of tight. Tank looks great. Obviously the, the petcock valve. For those of you who are um, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Never mind. That's a. I had somebody light, just light, like, uh, tear into me a little bit on an old three years ago Suzuki video. Poor fella. I actually felt sorry for the guy. Um, he was looking for a fight, but, uh, hopefully he, uh, got things figured out. And then, of course, yeah, the seat. Darn it all. I wish I had the damn seat. That would have been. Look, I can't be, I can't be mad at all. This thing is free, which I'm totally, totally blessed to be able to do, to be able to get this, but. So there it is. Um, by the time I'm done with this, we will be in XR250. And then I want to find out the scope because I believe it was at least 86 to maybe 2002, the same-ish style, but you know figured out and then also I rebuilt this uh, the uh, transmission lever um, um, forward it's reverse. for the old glass part here and this is the throttle here. let's forward throttle up um, Definitely not a disappointment, but um, I'm just not there yet for, on this boat. Um, I think eventually, I think the boat itself is solid. The uh, the motor and the linkage, I'm hoping I can get fixed, but I'm not gonna get, there's just, there's not a lot available for this thing, so I'm gonna have to get a new outboard and then fashion a throttle and then shoot. Hopefully we'll be able to hook that steering wheel up. Of course, it's just a, a standard what have you. But honestly, I'm more excited about this thing. So that's why we're doing it. There y'all, <laughs> there you are y'all. <laughs> there you are y'all. Um, I've been working on this thing for like hours now. So I'm kind of, uh, everything's going great. I'm actually thrilled that I've come this far. Um, we're gonna get the clutch installed in that uh, right side cover. And then I'm literally gonna build the whole, build the rest of this, figure out what we need, do a master parts list, and then order all our gaskets, seals. There was one bearing I felt in there that was bad. It's gonna be a, a trying time to try to find parts. So I almost think that I could throw this, I didn't even clean anything. Literally, it's like grit. I've used WD-40 just to throw everything together. I probably could actually throw this thing together, get it started, kind of do some oil flush and just run it. But well, the only part that, the only reason that's not actually true is because of the gaskets, there'd be a bunch of leaks, but I don't, I just, I think if, once I got all this stuff actually going together on it, um, like as if, like if I can get it sealed up, I've got a new piston, I've probably got enough parts in the top end to get everything together. 
And what I'm saying is that I probably could get a running engine without really doing any much. I'm not gonna be, I could, I could do silicone, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get it all together, do a parts list, and then actually rebuild it as if I were wanting to, if, as if I were doing it for a customer. Because, yeah, I could throw it together, but there's just no point. I might as well just uh, spend the extra time, spend the extra money, invest the extra money, I should say. And of course, once this bike is together, I probably could sell it for three grand. Yeah, I mean, three, two at least. Um, I mean, shoot, who knows? So this thing, <clears throat> I feel I feel like I'm betraying it. This thing still needs a $100 gas tank, and then it's basically set. It does need a muffler. And then, shoot, besides maintenance through the brakes, this thing is freaking rocking. So my goal is for Chase to be riding this thing, my son, and I'll ride this, and we'll swap back and forth, and we'll actually be able to get some somewhere. Excuse me, this little XL70. I definitely want to rebuild it, and then just like, Keep it pristine because whew, longer we go, y'all, man, the less and less parts are available, man. We gotta, we gotta, I don't know, man. I'm just a little weary of these older vehicles that you're gonna end up having to make parts for it. So this was not supposed to be an 11 minute video, but this truly is a little bit of an update on the XR250. I was not gonna do any videos at all, but I've been just literally, like, this has actually been really fun, so, and I'm uh, learning a lot how this whole situation works, and we are going to be masters of the XR250 just as soon as we can. Alright y'all, um, got everything inside the right cover installed, got the Cover installed, the clutch is looking good. Um, I just set the jug on here and the uh, the singular, the, the, the front cam chain uh, guide goes in after the jug. So anyway, um, I obviously don't have my piston installed if that were the case. We keep going, but um, well, I'm going to keep going, just not tonight. I'm gonna make sure I got the bolts to bolt this down, and then we're gonna mock up the cylinder head and then figure out what um, you know, the valve cover, valve train portion, and uh, she get this thing going, but. Definitely been a big learning experience. Here's the, when you kickstart it, this is the D cell. Basically is gonna crank that exhaust saw open. Uh, this is the other side. So pretty excited y'all. I did not think I would get this far this quick, but uh, we're gonna keep going tomorrow. And uh, again, this is just a mock-up build so we can figure out what parts we have. Um, good news. Um, this, this part here was st stuck on the right side cover. So that's cool. This one for sure. This one. And I have to be able to Work that and of course so there's there's stuff but yeah you know, like that. any questions at all this is something I'm really starting to learn and uh, we'll keep going all right y'all this is the next day um, basically got uh, the cylinder 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 head, cylinder head cover, mock installed. Um, because I didn't have everything torqued all the way, I couldn't quite install my uh, cam gear, but I was able to identify um, 
you know, how everything works, how everything fits. Um, I don't know. I tried to see if I can find neutral. So that's one thing I need to figure out for when I go back together for real, make sure that I have everything good. Because I'm assuming I did. It seems like it goes through all the gears, but because it's not, you know, it's been sitting, I tried to even rotate the, uh, the, uh, I had the cam chain, I was moving it like this, trying to shift it. I wanted to find neutral, that would have made me feel a little bit better, um, just to know that everything is turning properly in there. There's no piston in there right now, so I can't really, you know, spin it or whatever. So I just wanted to get everything together. I've got all the bolts going to the correct spots. I took notes on what's missing. Um, this, of course, uh, with this broken part, I will be using this other one. Um, as you can see, that's good, which is, of course, necessary for that. Probably broke when the same time the uh, wheel was bent, probably, I don't know. But um, of course with this one, it's got a torched uh, rocker arm or whatever you call it. Um, you can quite see that there. And that's uh, like just burned off. Um, so I'll have to swap that. Um, but I at least, and of course here's our piston. So these are all the, all the parts, clutch cable. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize all the rest of these parts because these are, I pretty much, now I'm not guaranteed on all this weird stuff that it's for this bike, but kind of set it aside thinking that way. And then like I mentioned last night, um, this is basically just uh, motorcycle spare parts uh, for just whatever. This is a different cam, uh, shift cam thing, different than the one I, the one that's on this one. So um, this will just, I'll probably just, Keep this off to the side. Um, same thing with these springs. I think those are for the valves. I don't know. It could be a different clutch on a different machine or uh, valve springs. But um, anyways, guys, I'm going to stop now. And uh, this is my parts list for now. Uh, what the next thing I'm going to do is roll the bike out kind of mock this up as if I was going to install it. Um, you know, minus this thing. Maybe I'll throw that one on just to just to do it. In fact, I probably should have just thrown that one, in it, one on anyway. But I'll get the bike out. I'll mock, mount the engine. And I'll figure out, because the main thing I need to figure out is these oil cooler pipes. I need to make sure I'm ordering the right parts. And then I'll also address the carburetor really quick. See if I can... Um, just get it going, get it free, um, and just do a final, what I think I might need. Obviously, my whole point is for all the smaller stuff, like washers and different things that I need, um, my point is I want to do somewhat of a parts order all in one, and then I guarantee I'll have to get something down the road. Number one, I won't be able to afford it all, but the, the seat the exhaust and then the rear wheel will be kind of phase two etc um of course the header pipe i at least need to get ordered from ebay i saw one on there unless i can find one elsewhere that way i could at least start it up with uh, the header and the carb and uh then once i actually get it running uh, I'll be like, okay, let's get this, the exhaust, the seat, and this rear wheel figured out. Because I think the brakes, something seized up in there too. Sorry guys, I'm not looking at it when I'm filming. So pretty exciting. This thing should be running next year. Um, just a matter of uh, routing funds. You know, I still need to spend a hundred bucks on the fuel tank for this. Which I definitely want to get that going so it's more just regular rideable and not so, uh, I mean, once you put this on, first of all, it's a pain in the butt. Put it on there. <sighs> but um, once it's on, you got to redo it and blah, blah, blah. I probably should take that off of there. But uh, anyways, guys, that's it for now. I was using the XR250 manual I found online. A couple videos here and there. I do have several questions about things that didn't quite 
go together as I thought they should. Um, mainly the cam chain uh, tensioner. I need to figure out how that works because it's something you install way down deep. Um, sorry, I'm like pointing and not even filming. And then, um, so obviously I want, before I get to that point, I want to make sure I understand how it works. Cause in the manual it said there's a pin in there that you're supposed to put, obviously to take tension off. So I, my, the tension was on mine the whole time, which obviously didn't help uh, the situation either in mounting that gear. So anyways, y'all, I'm gonna get off and do some barbecuing. I don't think I'll film any of that. I'm just gonna rock and roll. And uh, yep, just keeping it going. Uh, Project XR250, this video, especially the one I did last night, I was super late, it's probably super boring and I was droning on and on, but um, definitely looking forward to it. Um, once I do get the seat, I'll then figure out, you know, is this the right mounting stuff? How's the tank? Really glad the tank is plastic. And, uh, oh, sorry guys, just stay up late last night. Ugh. All right, y'all, we'll talk to you later. All right, y'all, Project XR250. I've been continuing to uh, mess around with it. Uh, beyond the rear wheel needing to be bent back where it's bent. Here, it's worse on the other side. Um, the uh, rear brake is just shot, um, whether it's totally rusted together. Um, so obviously we're gonna look at bearings and then the rear brake assembly, get that fixed up. And then of course we got the new tire ready. I've got the brake pedal just mocked up. Obviously I'll need to get this hardware. I, I don't see that in my parts pile. This, uh, the brake pedal pivot shaft, which is splined on the end to uh, accept the uh, pedal, that is also missing. So I've got to figure that out. But it's basically gonna um, be a spring. Obviously that goes there. I'm thinking here, oops, sorry guys. Um, so a spring and then the, sh the shaft and then a way to obviously tie it all together. So we'll see how that works. We'll break. I did put the basket um, under here. It just bolts right up. And then um, I looked over the rest of the bike. The breather tubes are excellent looking. The air filter looks good. Um, everything else is pretty, in pretty good shape. Um, the kickstand is way too short for some reason. I, did, I do see someone has done some welding here. So, um, it probably broke and they welded it and now it's a little bit different angle. And then I believe there was a, probably a rubber stopper that was anything. You can see how big of a block I've got it standing on and it's still angling left pretty good. Um, I've got the engine mounts just sitting there. Like I said, all the wiring looks excellent. The oil cooler lines look great. Obviously I'm gonna figure out seals there. Um, I still need to, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Front end is excellent. This left side shock is like it's a little bit of just light, very, 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 very light damp seepage, whatever. Uh, the clutch, the uh, lever handle, whatever is totally worn out. It's probably just thrown together. So I'm gonna get a new one of those. The cable's in great shape, I got that. Did notice the speedometer has been busted. It'll probably still work, so I probably won't worry about that. That'll be a secondary once I get it running. Right now I've got the uh, throttle cables suspended up. I made a mistake. I first put some uh, air tool oil down there. Just, I don't know. But uh, I went ahead and leaned, laid them down so all that thick oil would get out of there. It didn't get, much didn't get in there. And then I just went with the WD-40. Now it's suspended in the air. So uh, it's looking uh, pretty good. It's really gummy still. So that'll have to be, that'll be some attention there. Um, good news, I did get the carburetor, um, the uh, whatever valve you call it, obviously with the needle. Um, just the, this part was stuck, as you can see the, the corrosion 
And luckily it came out after I let it soak with the PB WD-40. So my dad told me to get some crocus cloth. And obviously the idea here is something very, very, very light. You just want to get that corrosion off of there. Do the same thing uh, in the throat here. Because if you take any material away, even, I don't know if there's a finished coating on there, like uh, some carburetors, some other like car carburetors have a finish coating on there to where you're not supposed to use carb cleaner, etc. These, I think is, this is just a solid piece of metal. Same with this, aluminum. I don't think it has any special coating on it, but uh, I'll be very careful because if you take too much material off, you'll develop a vacuum leak. You know, through here between the, between this and the um, in, in the uh, throat of the carb there. But I've got that setting. Just kind of uh, now that it's apart, and I'm pretty sure I can resurrect it. Now all I need there is a uh, rebuild kit, and I don't. I can't remember if I filmed all this yet. I know I went in when I was rebuilding that. It was super late that night. I was probably rambling. Uh, but um, just a quick update, the seat is incorrect. Obviously it's for a CR. I'm gonna hopefully sell that. And then of course I still need to end up with an XR seat. Um, these are a bunch of spare parts for this engine. Things that um, I had duplicates of, so that's awesome. These are just random other motorcycle bolts and whatnot. And this is really what's left of all the parts and pieces I'm about to um, Kind of organize them um, put them in baggies uh, set them off to the side because everything most excuse me i'm having the hiccup burps here these go somewhere on the bike i know that for sure um all of this stuff i'm sure some of these brackets do like maybe this one that one but all of these and even this thing these all might be for some other bike but i'm going to keep them in a baggie this as well this is a internal part that I believe is just for a different application. Um, bolts, we're just gonna get those all together because I may or may not need those. But the good news is, is this thing is basically completely together. It doesn't have the, uh, the gear in there. And this may be super repetitive. This has been a couple days since I made the last video, so I apologize for any uh, rep rep repetitiveness, but Obviously this is broken, so I'll have to, I'm luckily they gave, they included this, which is awesome. That would have been fun to try and find, you know, because this obviously holds the top of the engine. And I'm sure what happened to this thing, um, and by the way, this um, is totally roasted. You see this big flat rocker arm surface um, for the cam, and this right here is just totally torched. So that's what's riding on the camshaft, so this one, Whatever this came out, came out of, the can shaft was definitely toast. So I gotta rebuild this, most likely using the parts on this one. And then, um, but guys, it is basically all together. Um, oops, I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Kickstarter, in theory works. There's no piston in there, so I don't wanna turn the motor. I, I, ne I needed to have done that, but I don't have the old piston. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't like how loose that is. Um, I don't mind the side to side, well I do actually, but it's the, I don't know. We'll see if that's normal. Got our shifter here. It sounds pretty good. I was trying to find neutral and I just can't. So that was something I wanted to figure out how to try and figure out because that, that drive, that final drive gear should, should be, uh, you know, free spinning, I think, of course, it's the theory of neutral, you can, engine can be running and the sec the driven shaft is not connected to the, um, whatever you call it, first set of gears, is the first set of gears, it's running directly off the engine, and then it, depending on where your, sh your thing is, um, what gear you're in, it, that gear translates to this shaft, which comes out. So and you get your clutch here, all ready to go. You can actually just begin to press on it. Um, Dad recommended 
but I will go ahead and get a new, uh, I don't know if it's called a reluctor. The part that, that reads the, uh, the crank. And the reason why, because it's so deep in the engine, I don't want to get it all back together and realize that it's bad and have to take everything apart. So this other side, the stator or alternators is easier to, to work on. So I'll probably definitely do that. But yeah, y'all, and then of course, finally, the seat, uh, the gas tank looks great. I'll clean it out, of course. And then I'll just make sure that this, um, in fact, I need to do that before I order parts. I probably should clean it out, put some fuel in it see if it holds and then see if it properly operates. I've been uh, spraying uh, WD-40 on it too. Cause man, I'm telling you guys, you get something old, first thing you do, man, just start spraying it with, with WD-40. I like WD-40, just in my experience, it really works to help free rusty stuff. Um, and I'm just, Turning it all the way here and just getting this thing kind of woken up. Um, oh, all right, cool. We got some stuff going on there. But again, with, with stuck bolts, things especially you're not trying to break, um, you're taking things apart like fasteners, this, the PB is just awesome. And uh, I don't know if they work well together, but these are some of my favorite. Um, in fact, I should do a video on some of my favorite products because. Been in this industry for quite a while, mainly automotive. No, just working on small engines and dirt bikes and four wheelers. I haven't honestly done much of that um, until I basically started this channel and started working on a few clients' rigs. I've learned a lot. I learned a ton rebuilding this thing. Um, they're fairly simple, but they're just a big puzzle. You have to put together properly, and if you mess up, <laughs> you know, you're taking it back apart. So it's, it's one of those things where, you know, expect to, expect to not get it right the first time. So you're not so freaking pissed off when you gotta totally uh, start over. But, uh, <laughs> and again, I made another video the other day. I think I deleted it, I don't even know, but the three wheeler will get its new gas tank so it can be more and once it has that tank, it is ready to rock and roll. After that, the phase two of this thing, of course, is brakes, front and rear, and um, the muffler is totally rusted out. But guys, I plan to just run this thing, hopefully just forever. It's a piece of history. It just, it runs great. Uh, there is a ticky tick noise. Probably up in the valve train, I'll need to figure out. Um, I, I still need to adjust the cam shaft, uh, the, the, the timing chain tension. It's the only thing I didn't do maintenance wise, just because like, I, yeah, I hear they get stuck. And um, last thing I want to do is loosen it without being able to actually do anything. So, and uh, yeah, what's up, buddy? Oh, on a bill? Oh, goodness gracious. My son and wife are playing an old board game called Payday, like a super old board game. And, uh, she just came out to say that uh, basically he's winning. <laughs> My wife just drew a card that says pay 800 bucks. You just got married. Anyways, guys, and the Honda XL70 runs great. It does need to be gone through. And actually doing this XR250 because I'm just forced to. And if I wanted to get it running, I have to do it. I learned a lot, enough to feel super confident in rebuilding this thing, which is obviously a simpler setup and uh, the clutch is starting to wear on it. Um, it does have an oil leak. Um, and you know, I might just do those things, but it's, I think when we've ran it and it gets hot, uh, we feel like it's a little underpowered. So I'm thinking it's, it's getting a little tired, you know, and uh, it's been ran hard, put away wet over the last shoot, probably 20 years, so. <clears throat> We'll do that, but just wanted to give a quick update. Um, Project XR250 is coming along a lot faster than I thought. Um, I really spent, I spent almost eight hours probably working on rebuilding that motor uh, this last Friday night. And then I finished it over the couple of days just to get everything released together. I know all the bolts in it are ready to, ready to rock. And my idea is just, I want to sweep away all the extra stuff so all I have to do 
when I first got all the parts, it was super overwhelming. I mean, all these are in here. I was like, good Lord, how many parts does this thing have? Because everything just came together. But I'm like, okay, well, obviously these are the same. I, I didn't know until I actually you know, put it all together. So, but I'm very excited about this. I really am because I'm a dirt bike king. I really, I really like dirt bikes. Four wheelers, three wheelers, everything else is awesome. Snow machines, perfect, you know, they're cool. But um, it is something about dirt bikes. There's this, there's actually this movie Look it up. It's called The Dirt Bike Kid. I think it was made in 1985 or six. And I, for, I actually thought that, that this bike he was riding, but it was an older, it was a different bike with like dual headlights. It was actually kind of weird looking, but ever since, ever since I saw that movie, probably when I was like five or six years old, I was like, man, I want a dirt bike. Cause it was like a magical dirt bike. And like, he like saved the neighborhood by having a dirt bike. So I was like, I need a dirt bike so I can save the neighborhood. And then of course, last but not least, the old glass Parlito. Um, I went ahead and put this back together. This is actually, in a, I filmed part of it. it was, this thing is a pain in the butt, I hate this thing. Um, but it's nice that I have it and it works. Although the throttle, it doesn't seem to want to go full throttle. And then of course I need to take um, the dunce cap off it to begin with. But I need to, uh, still figure out the electrical system on it. And uh, that's gonna be another, it's gonna be another crack, another egg to crack or whatever. Another case to crack, so. There you have it, y'all. I'm gonna get kind of cleaned up and get the next phase um, going, which will be ordering parts slowly but surely. And I'm basically pretty confident that by next spring, if not sometime this winter, this thing will be ready to fire off and uh, of course I'll be itching to get it out on some trail rides. And uh, then we'll have three in the stable. And a little Honda 70 is just fun for little, not little kids, but just people that want to just putz around. It's, the suspension bottoms out really easily. It, you really can't run through some trails on it. The three wheeler, obviously the same. It's no, basically zero suspension. Um, so this will actually be something that I could probably keep up with some of my other buddies who've uh, got newer four wheelers and side by sides. And then, and I'd be able to mod the three wheeler at anywhere, but I just, I don't want to be so hard on this three wheeler. It's uh, a little bit rarer of a machine than this thing. Um, but that bolt, I, bolt, I don't want to trash either of them. Um, but uh, anyways, it's a super long recap video, so I need to get, I need to start getting some of these posted. So, pretty excited, y'all. Honda XR250 is on the way.